Hi, it's Brenda from Drayton Valley Library. The following video you're about to watch is just an example of what Battle of the Books actually looks like. So the location this is happening in is in the council chambers at the town office. This is where we will hold the grand finale. However, the way that the battle is run is quite similar when we come to your school for the in-school battle. One thing we were not able to show you on the video is the quiz out rule. So just a reminder that if someone were to get six questions correct on the team, that team member would be quizzing out, uh, which means that they would no longer be able to buzz in so that their other team members get a chance. But if you do quiz out, wow, you're doing really good. Okay, so we're doing a little recording here just to have a sample of what Battle of the Books actually looks like. Oh, someone wants their button because you have to push one of these. If you want to answer a question. <laughs> okay, so uh, the rules uh, that go on here are that before the question starts being read, everyone has to have their hands on the mat. We'll probably have somebody keeping an eye on that usually. Um, and then we'll pause to make sure everyone's hands are on the mat before we go into a question. If you think you know the answer to the question, then you can interrupt me. That is fine, but I will stop reading the question at that point, so you won't get all the clues from the question. Um, if you get that question wrong, the and the other team, a player on the other team has buzzed in, then that other team is going to get a chance to try and answer that question. I will repeat the question, though, in its entirety so that other team will get all the clues. So it's a little bit of strategy. You have to decide if you're willing to take the risk and interrupt me or not, <laughs> okay? Um, so today we have two players. They are representing two teams just for our sample purposes. So we have Corn on buzzer one and we have Talon on buzzer two. Normally we'd go through and practice and test our buzzers, make sure they're working, but we've already done that. Um, other bits of things to know are that once you buzz in, you have 20 seconds from the time you buzz in to say the answer to your question, or we will time out. Um, if you are trying to buzz in after the other team has first buzzed in, because you think you know the answer and they might get it wrong, you only have five seconds to get that second buzz in there, so you've got to quickly hit it. And there are no penalties for getting a question wrong. So take a risk, you know, why not there? I mean, it's not even a risk. Take a chance, <laughs> I guess would be more what we're saying. Um, when you are in the chambers here and you're saying your answers, you will need to turn on your mic and speak into the mic so that the recording or if we're streaming this, then people can hear what you're saying. Um, I think that's about everything that people need to know. If I remember something else, I will tell people there are funny sounds that this computer will make sometimes if you run out of time or if you get a question right. And yeah, we are going to begin our quiz. Today we are going to do a quiz on fairy tales. And to be fair, the players let you know the players have not had a chance to review their fairy tales before this quiz. Um, but we're just doing this for fun and for an example for you. All right, we're going to do 10 questions and see how we do. So, first question. Maybe I'll mix them up just so that, yeah, that'll make it a little more. Okay, here's question number one. In which book does someone's house get blown down? Corin. Is it The Three Little Pigs? It is The Three Little Pigs. You are correct. Yes. All right. Question number two. In which book does someone wear a red hood? Talon. Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood is correct. And Corin did a good job there because he buzzed in too. And if Talon had gotten it wrong, Corin would have a chance. All right. Oh, I have to say, you are correct. Make that fun noise. Okay. Question number three. In which book does someone spin straw into gold? Corin. Is it Rumpelstiltskin? The correct answer is Rumpelstiltskin, yes. Good job. 
All right, question number four, I believe we are on. In which book does a chair break? I saw that look. <laughs> Buzz in in case he gets it wrong. He might get it wrong. Yeah, okay, Corin. Is it Goldilocks and the Three Bears? You're wrong. Just kidding. No, you're right. Good job. <laughs> and now Talon has buzzed in there, yes. All right, number five. In which book is someone unable... Oh, I messed up. Guess what? So this happens sometimes, human error right here. I have to throw out this question because I forgot to hit the right thing on my computer and it didn't accept your buzz in. Or if everyone agrees that we all saw that Corin buzzed in, we could go ahead with it. What do you think? Throw it out? Or have... We can do it. It's okay. Are you okay with that, Talon? Talon has a... Di no, he disagrees. So, okay. So we're going to throw it out and... When we do a real quiz, I actually have extra questions waiting to do a replacement question if that should happen. That's kind of good that we had an example of what could actually happen in a quiz. Okay, so let's try. I don't know what number we're on. We'll just keep going until I run out of papers. Our next question is, in which book does someone make seven short friends? Ooh, that was pretty close, but Talon got there first. Snow White. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is correct. Good job. Okay, next question. In which book is there a magic bean? Yes. Is it The Princess and the Frog? Buzz in. Yes, Talon's there. Just didn't make a little noise, but I see your name on my screen. He is incorrect. So I will reread this question. Um, hang on, I think I have to do it like this. And that means your 20 seconds is starting, but I shouldn't have quite done it that soon. Because I'm going to reread the question in its entirety. In which book is there a magic bean? Is it Jack and the Beanstalk? It is Jack and the Beanstalk. Good job. I'm practicing too, so I will remember not to hit that quite as quickly. Okay, we have a real competition this time. All right, next question. In which book does someone lose a shoe? Corin. Is it Cinderella? Yeah, yes. it is. I'm going just a minute. Which one? Yes, it is. Correct. Okay, so we have two questions left in our quiz here. Our next question is, in which book does someone look very different than the rest of the family? Talon. The Ugly Duckling. It is correct. The Ugly Duckling. duckling. Good job, Buzzing and Corn. You would have been able to get it if he got it wrong, but he is correct. All right, our final question, and I haven't really been keeping track, so the computer will hopefully tell me who's winning after this. All right, our final question. In which book is a house made of candy? Corn. Is it Hansel and Gretel? It is Hansel and Gretel. You are correct. Great job, everybody. Give me a moment while I tell you the results. Hi, it's Verna again. I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration that we did. Um, you got to see some of the things that can actually happen in the real battle, you know, especially if I mess up. But uh, one thing I wanted to make note of is where we had the situation that the first team that buzzed in got the question wrong, and then the question gets transferred over to the second team. I actually will have to be reading that question in its entirety within your 20 seconds that you have to answer the question. It's just the way that the technology works. And so I, I kind of had forgotten um, as I hadn't used that technology for a little bit, but that's the way we'll do it moving forward. Um, just for awareness that when the grand finale happens, we usually do try to get an author in to be able to read the questions. So they would be the quiz master and I would be, or whoever may be doing my role, would be take, doing the scoring and controlling the computer there. So this video is also to help any guest authors that might be coming and haven't experienced Battle of the Books before. All right, so I'm looking forward to seeing all the participants after we're done, all that good reading.